Okay. Uh, so let's do this problem on oxidation numbers. Um, uh, so we have, uh, well, this is one like we saw, the one we solved in class. Let's just quickly go through it. Um, there are some uh, uh, elements that we automatically know what their oxidation numbers are, okay? Um, hydrogen, if it's in a compound, is always going to be plus one. Let's just write those down over here. Hydrogen is always going to be plus one. Oxygen, if it's in a compound, is always going to be minus two. Okay, those are the two that I specifically told you to remember uh, individually. The other thing you want to remember is that if you look at your um, uh, uh, group one, group two, group three elements, all the ones that are going to make positively charged cations, right, normally, um, those are always going to stay at those same oxidation numbers. So sodium is always going to be plus one. Magnesium is always going to be plus two. Okay? So the group ones, let's just write that down now. Group ones plus one. Group two plus two. And group 3A or 13 plus three, okay? So with that information, you should be able to figure everything out. Okay, so let's try this one first off. Remember, all these compounds, we want them to overall be a zero oxidation state, okay? So what do we know? H is plus one, right? So H plus one, and we only have one of them. So one times plus one. Uh, for the whole compound, always has to be zero, unless the whole compound has a charge, but we haven't gotten to there yet, okay? I know it's, it's, those are ions anyways, they're called complex ions, so it's actually a different thing, it's not really a compound. But anyways, notice none of these have an overall charge, okay? So then we're going to say plus, well we know oxygen, right, is negative two and we have three of them. So three times negative two, like that. And then we have one bromine, right? So we're gonna say one times x equals zero, like that, okay? So now we'll just add this thing up, right? One plus three times two, negative two is negative six, so it's at one minus six, right? Uh, 1 times x is x, so plus x equals 0, right? So this is negative 5 plus x equals 0, right? And remember algebra, we can take this 5, move it over to the other side, so x must equal plus 5, right? So that's the oxidation number of bromine. Does that make sense? Well, it's not charged, right? This is a compound, okay? okay. So it's got um, kind of, if you wanted to think of it as being broken up into like individual atoms, yeah, bromine would, if you want to think of it that way, has a positive five charge. But it's, it's not like that. This compound doesn't look like that. It looks like this. B-R-O... <coughs> O, O, H. That's what it looks like. No, yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, with our... But it's very difficult for you guys to draw this compound yet. You know, you don't know how to build these types of things. In fact, uh, this compound here is very difficult for you to build because you only know bromine to be able to make one bond, you know. But... In some compounds, you know, these atoms will make weird bonds, okay, bonding patterns. But I think we're in the alley, you take the five. Yeah, so you get that five yeah. from taking the bonds here and taking those electrons away from bromine, actually, you know. So the thing is, is it's, but you can figure out what the oxidation state is here, and then it kind of gives you clues to say how to build the thing or something like that, okay. So... 
we're cool with bromine being plus 5. Let's try this one, okay? Is that cool? Can we really? You can do it, though. You can do it, you know. I have no doubt in my mind that you can do it. Yeah, sure. Well, let's just keep doing it, okay? So, remember, this is a ion here, okay? This is an ionic compound, okay? So, calcium, it's a group 2 element, right? So, it's going to be plus 2, plus 2. So, 1 times plus 2 plus, well, how many nitrogens do we have? Two, because this whole thing is two, right? So we've got two nitrogens and three oxygens, right? So our X is going to be nitrogen. Yeah, so if we want to put that next, two times X, like that, okay? Uh, let's, I guess we should write up here, BR equals plus five, just to keep that in. Okay, and now we're going to go to oxygen, so it's, 2 times 3, right? So we got 6 of them, plus 6 times minus 2 equals what? 0, right? So now we'll just do what we've been doing. 2 plus 2x minus 12 equals 0, right? 2x minus 10, because 12 minus 12 plus 2 is 10, right? Equals 0. 2x equals 10, right? If we take that 10 over to the other side, and then we divide both sides by 2, x equals plus 5. We want to say plus because we want to make... In this, I know normally we emphasize that it means pos plus if... Uh, there's nothing there, but for charges, we like to put the plus up there, okay? So, um, in this case, N would be plus 5. Can you do it? You could do that, right? Yeah, now it's easy, right? It, 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 makes, it makes a world of difference when you come to office hours, I promise you. Why? Because I know how to explain this stuff, you know? And the thing is, is... I like, to, I like to explain it to people who are willing to come and get help, you know? I really do. Like on the blackboard, like, I know sometimes I'll have the, the right uh, charge. Uh -huh. I'll put the plus, and it counts it wrong for me, and I'll have to redo it. And I was just like, I wonder if that's just for certain ones, or like, normally if I just put a charge, do I have to put that plus beside it? Make sure you do, yeah. I would always do that, yeah. Because, like, I guess I just thought if it was positive, I'll just put the five. Yeah, no, I'll bet you that's what it's doing. I'll bet you. You're talking about Al? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet you. I'll bet you that's what it's doing. Do you guys think you could solve for what sulfur is? So I want you guys to solve for it. Don't look up here. I'll be solving for it myself, okay? And remember, sodium is a group one element, okay? I did. Oh, okay, no, I, no, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> You're making me worried now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's go over it now. So, remember, sodium is a group one element. 
So group one elements are plus one. You've got two of them, two times plus one. Then the thing we're looking for is sulfur. We've only got one of them, so that's going to be our x, right? Then plus four times negative two, because negative two is oxygen. We've got four of them, uh, equals zero, right? Because the whole compound has to equal zero. Um, two times plus one is, is two. One times x is x. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 0 equals 0, right? So we're going to combine the 2 and the negative 8 to get negative 6. x minus 6 equals 0. We take that 6 over to the other side. x equals plus 6. So in this case, sulfur's oxidation state is plus 6. Okay? Remember what you told me next time you tell your, stu your uh, kids. I've already told you. You better be nice to them. <laughs> Especially giving me a hard time about it. No, I... <laughs> okay. I, I sometimes say things because I'm nervous. CL2. CL you nervous around your kids? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Oh, whatever. Don't start that. You're, you're so smart. Oh, wow. All right, now that's the thing, you know. I think you're so smart. I love it. I love it. The, you know what I love is to watch you be like, oh, it's so easy, you know. I love it, you know. Okay, what about this one? What's the oxidation number of CL? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Remember, the, uh, it's one of the rules, if you want to go back and look at your rules. Okay, go back and look at the rules for oxidation. Rules. Keep going. I know. Okay, so I think it's... Um, yep. One more? Oh, it's here. There. No. No, here, this one, chlorine, right? Mm-mm. -mm. Where's the rule one? Leo. Is that Leo? That's not it. Okay. Uh, it's rule number one. The oxidation number of any uncombined element is zero. Right? So, is this element combined with another type of element? No. no. So, the oxidation number is zero. Okay, let's try this one, just kind of to um, understand what we're talking about. What's the oxidation number of hydrogen in H2? I mean, normally it would be positive one because there's nothing dead, it would be zero. But since it's, so it's okay. elemental form, it's zero, okay? Any element. Ele any element, if it's not combined with another element, zero. zero. Okay, let's try one more. Just to, but not, don't make it confusing on you. Let's try this one. Right? What's the oxidation number of oxygen in this compound? Zero. Zero. Or in this molecule, I should say. It's not a compound. Yeah, but that's not a molecule in the compound. Yeah. A molecule is two. Is it? Uh, so. A compound is the combination of more than one el type of element. Okay? A molecule can be like Cl2, where there's not two types of elements, right? Just one element. Okay? Let's do this last one here. pH3. What's the oxidation number of P? So how would you do it? So P is going to be your X, right? Just like you said. And then, what are we going to do? Plus three, three times plus one. Why is it plus one? Because H in a compound is always plus one, right? Equals zero, right? X, three times one is three, equals zero. X equals negative three. 
right? So P in this case, negative 3. Can you do those things by yourself, do you think? I think so. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, are we cool with that one? 